Hi, it's Jeff Salzenstein here, founder of Tennis Evolution, former top 100 ATP player, and I am committed to helping you get better at tennis. I want to advance online instruction education so that you and others can get better. In this video, we're going to talk about the backhand breaking down. We're going to help you with your backhand today, help you understand it better. Even if you have a one-hander, you'll be able to learn some things, but we're going to focus on the two-handed backhand today. This is a match between two seniors in their 40s, 50s. They both played on the Pro Tour many years ago, and one player really struggles with his backhand. So we're going to get into it right now. You're going to watch this point. You see that backhand return, not very solid. That ground stroke, not very solid. And that one's not solid. So let's, let's take it back. Let's take it back to the start of the point here. Let's watch the return. So for one, this player doesn't have a great serve. So his positioning is pretty good. Okay, it's behind the baseline, but I don't really like how he gets on his front foot here. I think he could actually, I mean, he could get on his front foot, but if he was standing closer, he could load this foot and transfer the weight at the right time, but he gets his weight here early. Some players do this when they're moving to the right, so it's not totally wrong, but if you kind of look how he's steering it, you can tell that he's just kind of steering the backhand and like this shoulder is lifting up. He's probably gripping too tight. That's just not great balance right there on the backhand. Needs a lot of work. Okay, now he split steps. Now watch this move and a little shuffle step, but notice how he moves here. So he's up in the court here. This is classic. A lot of rec players do this, club players. Look how he's moving diagonal back. And this ball did not land deep. He easily could have moved across and even slightly up to hit this ball. So the movement slightly back and diagonal impacts him. Now look at how he steps across like this. This was a problem that I had on my backhand. I stepped across a lot. But if you swing this leg around appropriately, you can actually hit great backhands, which he doesn't really do. You see how he brings the back leg up right behind the front leg? He could actually swing this leg around, kind of jump in the air and square up, and he would hit a better backhand. You can also see when he swings here how the racket face is really open. See how it's open like that? He needs to be using more left hand. He's just gripping way tight. He should be using more left hand, almost hitting it like a left-handed forehand on this particular backhand. I like how he goes down the line against the lefty to make him hit a backhand. So the guys are staying in this down the line rally. But look again, look what happens. Look where he is. Look how he starts to move diagonal back. Now that was a deeper ball, but even in this case, he could be deeper and he could be moving at an angle. He's stepping across again, and he's just really muscling this backhand, not getting a lot of extension. See how this arm's not going straight? And he's not swinging this leg around. It's just a total miss hit. The body's off balance. He's moving too much. He's opening the racket face. He's squeezing too tight. The whole structure of the backhand would have to be basically redone or reformatted or a whole different approach would, would have to be there. And so we want to make sure you're extending on your backhand. You're swinging this leg around. You're aiming towards the middle more. You don't want to miss this ball wide. You're getting that nice extension and you're using the left hand. So even some great players struggle with, with technique, and this player in particular is a good player, not a great player. He struggles with his backhand side. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. We'd love for you to be notified, so make sure your notifications are turned on, you're subscribed. We really appreciate you, and we, have, uh, we, we, we want you to improve your backhand as well. There's three myths that people fall for with the two-handed backhand. If you click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video, you're going to be able to improve your backhand and get to the next level. We, again, loved making this video for you. And again, click the link below to learn the three myths and get started improving your backhand. And we'll see you at the next video. Thanks.